soul soul my simmers welcome to my channel this video is all about little miss sam's auto employees mod that allows you to auto spawn employees on any lot using certain objects so i'm going to show you how i use the mod and also how to apply the mod after you've installed it and how to set it up so if you enjoy this video or find it helpful please go ahead and hit that like button if you um, want to see more then go ahead and subscribe and of course if you have something to say or you have a question let me know in the comments so if this is your first time uh, visiting my channel channel then i need to let you know i am all about the adult gameplay i love adult sims i'm not really um, huge on family gameplay so anything that can enhance my game um, with adult sims i love and so this is why i love this mod i think that it definitely enhances gameplay um, again it's called auto employees and i will leave the link to the mod and little miss sam's website in the description if you are familiar with the mod i'm curious to know how you used it so let me know in the comments um one of the ways that I used it is at the beach. So what you see is San Simoleon Beach. San Simoleon Beach is in Sulani. Um, it comes with the island living pack. So normally it's just a regular beach, but with this mod, I was able to add a bar and also a massage table that actually spawns employees. So um, it definitely makes the beach um, a little bit more fun for the Sims. Another thing I like to use this mod for is to add extra DJs and bartenders to nightclubs. So what you see is Blue Nightclub in Tartosa. And typically with The Sims 4, you get one bartender and one DJ to spawn. Well, this mod gives you the ability to add up to four DJs and four bartenders. So if you wanted to have like an R&B lounge on one floor, hip hop or reggae on another floor, and a bar on every floor. Um, you could do that with this mod. So it definitely um, it gets the club a little bit more popping because you got more DJs and more bartenders than usual. My ultimate favorite thing to do with this mod was use it in this vacation rental. So, um, and I know it's really big, but anyway, if you like really big houses, it will be on the gallery. My gallery ID will be in the description as per usual. Uh, but anyway, what the mod did for this vacation rental, instead of making it feel just like it is a home, it made it feel like a resort because it is fully staffed. So that buffet thing that you see comes from the um, university pack, but there are also a couple of massage therapists, a bartender, a barista at a little coffee shop, and a DJ. So they are on site 24-7. Um, I also like to hire a caterer for the first couple of hours and once the caterer cooks a bunch of food i just have it go into the refrigerator because it lasts for a couple of days and then the sims have a lot of food options so it it's almost like an all-inclusive vacation it's just that they have to pay for some of the services so it's not completely all-inclusive because there are things that they need to pay for but there is a beach um your sims can get massages on the beach here as well and this lot is just basically fully loaded. There's a gym, there is a game room, there's a sauna, um, there's a spa, a movie theater. So, you know, sometimes when you go on vacation, it might be a rainy day or something, especially in Sulani. Um, but yeah, your Sims have a lot to do here. And I also um, have a pool. They can swim in the ocean or the pool and it's pretty nicely decorated. It's bright and islandy because it is in the on the island um, of Sulani. So I kind of made it have island colors and island vibes, and it has a sunny aspect as a lot trait. And the Sims love it. I even put a children's room in there, even though I don't care um, for kids to come along. But for those who do, there is one, and there are four other bedroom suites for adults. So each bedroom does have its own bathroom and there are plenty of places to lounge as well so it's a really nice spot 
Now that I have shown off my build, because I just had to do that, let me talk about how this mod works. So um, this mod is actually applied as a lot challenge. So you're going to click on the lot trait panel and it says traits and challenges. And again, this is a challenge, not a trait. So as you can see, I have the lot challenge employees professionals. So that's the one you want because nobody owns this lot. So you don't want the one that says owner. You want the one that says employees professional. And if you come on my comments and say, I don't see this in my lot traits. I'm going to know you didn't watch my video and I'm going to refer back to the timestamp of when I'm talking about this because it, again, it is not a trait. It is a challenge. It says it's a trait on the website. So it was confusing to me, but it is a lot challenge and this is how you apply it. And this is the lot challenge that you need to apply employees, professionals as a lot challenge after you have installed the mod, which again will be linked to in the description. So you, if you don't know how to install mods, um, there's tons of videos out there on them. So I'm not gonna go over the whole um, mod installation thing, but once the mod is installed, this is how you make it work. After you have applied the lot challenge, you need to click on any door and click auto employee, and then you're gonna allow all the employees that you want to allow. So you can have um, up to four bartenders, four baristas. You can have entertainers, which I'm not using here um, by placing instruments on the lot. You can place a microphone on the lot and get a comedy entertainer. And if you place a potty on the lot, you can have a nanny. So I'm not using that. Um, I do use the caterer for a couple of hours. And once I have the fridge stocked with food, I dismiss the caterer because they really just cook too much like it's, it's too much food they'll just sit there cooking like why you know if you allow the caterer to stay the whole time you're going to have plates of food all over your house so a couple of hours um, normally for me is enough with the caterer especially since the sims on this lot have so many other options i mean they can get pastries from the coffee shop and they have this this buffet here um, where they can order a number of options and this came with um, university pack I think that I mentioned that already but that's what it came with and I let them pretty much stay there all the time there's also that food stall outside so you, you can have up to four total vendors they don't have to be food stalls but um, you can have up to four of them and another thing I really like was this massage chair because your sims can sit on this um, vacation home and get pampered so they can go to the massage therapist and request services like why is she looking at her like that like she kind of looked like she side-eyed her but anyway the point is um, you can have your sims get manicures pedicures foot massage or a hand massage and just really be pampered on their vacation so i thought that was cute and you know what i've had spa day for the longest and i really just don't use it because i don't know this was like it's not brand new but it is brand new so <laughs> like because i just don't use spa day like that so when i use it on this vacation i was like okay okay you know okay spa day i didn't you know it came out a long time ago and i didn't even i don't even yeah. use it oh, i didn't yeah. realize that my sims can go get a pedicure i mean i put polish on them and create a sim but that's about it um they can also i knew about the massages but anyway they can come to these massage tables and be pampered on the beach um and, and it only spawns one per object like i mentioned so even though i have two tables out here it's not going to spawn spawn two massage therapists for this so if you wanted to do something like your sims want to get a couple's massage um if they're extra like me or whatever then you have to hire another massage therapist and pay for it um for the other table to work but anyway that is um, pretty much it on this. I hope that you enjoyed this video and maybe it, it provided some inspiration for you. And like I said, all of the lots in this video will be on um, my gallery ID 617 Sim. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time.